to reset your iPad when your accessibility options just aren't working. iPad lessons at yourtechvision.com. So today I'm going to show you how to reset your options if your voiceover and your zoom effects are not working correctly. Uh, the first thing I want to do is actually show you what should and or should not occur when you're hitting your home buttons and moving around your page. First of all, on your home button, if you hit your home button, your keyboard will come up and basically it's moving to the left. Hit your home button again and your home button is here. Now another way to do it is you take three fingers and go ahead and flick. There's your keyboard because you flicked to the left. Flick to the right and then take those three fingers and flick again. And then of course you can take those three fingers and continue to flick through all your pages. Here's another way to move. So you can continue to scroll but let's say you have five or six pages of apps. Just hit your home button and you will immediately pop back to your home page, your original home page. Now another uh, option is down here about an inch from the bottom. Page one of two, adjustable. You can hear page one of two adjustable and you can tap either side of this. So let's go ahead and double tap and it moves you through your pages. Um, I actually have a student who does not have three fingers, so she cannot use that three finger option. So she moves through her pages by coming down to page two of two. Adjust the bottom the and then of course there is the edit and you hit your home button and you go back to home. So that is another option. You can either use your three fingers to flick through and move through or if your child finds it easier just go down to your adjustable bar and move through that way. So let's go ahead and go back. Now you have four main icons at the bottom of your screen and for beginners I do suggest putting it in landscape because it gives them more uh, availability to move around. Now you can move these icons around and I have settings down in my four main uh, icons mainly because I use it constantly. Now let's say I want to move one of these icons out and move another one in because your settings is up in the, in the top part of your apps. So let's go ahead and uh, move one of these icons out and listen. Game center. Now you need to double tap and hold. Game center. And it is a little tricky, but you just have to continue to hold and then you can move that out. And as you can see, your icons move around. Let's say I want to use uh, iTunes and I just move that down so that way you can go ahead and move your settings down into your four main icons so no matter what home page you are on you always have availability to that now you need to set these icons in place because they're still jiggling uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and hit your home key and it stops now these are stationary these are stable icons you do not really have the option of deleting these but you do in your next page so let's go ahead and scroll any app that you have added to your iPad you have the availability to delete so I have added these icons let's go ahead and say I want to delete one I'm going to tap hold and once again you hold until they start jiggling and you just need to continue to hold and as you can see you have all the X's so if I was to double tap that again it would ask me do I really want to delete this uh, I don't but notice the four main icons down here at the bottom they do not have the option of deleting those so you cannot delete those out uh, which is really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and push my home button and stabilize all my icons okay so at any page I can go to my settings so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my settings settings let me show you how to reset this settings so you want to go ahead and go to general and of course it's just a smooth flick and it's already selected so it doesn't do any good to double tap now this is two frames so you need to uh, touch the left side to do the left side movements and you need to touch the right side to get the right side to move now if you want to scroll once again it's three fingers and you can scroll and scroll up quickly or you can flick your finger uh, from left to right to move down. Now I know my reset is at the bottom reset, and there's my reset button. I'm going to double tap to open that. Settings. Reset all settings. And here's all my options. So reset all settings. So if you hit your uh, voiceover, your home button three times and your voiceover does not give you app switcher or voiceover and it gives you multiple options, uh, it's just because your settings are set up that way and you may or may not know how you got that way. So let's go ahead and go through all your options. Erase all content and settings. You can erase everything and start over as if you have just pulled this iPad right out of the box and then you can just start over. Reset network settings. If your networks are having issues, there you go. Reset keyboard dictionary. 
button. Reset all settings. But erase all content. Okay, so those are your options. Let's go ahead and uh, and so you can double tap on any of those and reset your iPad, and you just have to give it a second to reset that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go back to general. Selected general. Settings. And Settings. after you go to general, uh, you need to go into accessibility. Accessibility. Settings. And Heading. most often, your the issues that you begin to have have something to do with triple click home. Triple click home. Settings. Now you triple have many button. options here. So off. off. Selected. Toggle voiceover. And I have toggle voiceover on so that of course it comes on and off, and I can hook it up to my Braille display or my external keyboard as I want. Toggle white on black. Toggle zoom. Toggle assistive touch. Ask. And you may, if you're getting lots of options when you hit your home button three times, it could be on ask. So you can set up your triple click home and your triple click home has to do with hitting your home button three times any way that you want. Uh, and then that option will come on and off as you hit that home button three times. Okay, so if you need to reset, that's how you reset and you can start over uh, and get going again.